Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing a thorough review and demonstration on the brand new Dyson Airwrap. This tool is so hot right now, which is sort of ironic since it uses air to style your hair and not heat. It is sold out everywhere. It sold out the very first day it was in stores at Nordstrom. It sold out on the website, Dyson website, Sephora website, you name it. You really cannot get your hands on one of these right now. It is so popular. And it's a $550 price point. So it is incredibly expensive and yet so sought after. So in today's video, I'm going to explain a little bit about the technology behind it, which also kind of explains the price point as well. And then I'm going to show you how it works. So if you're familiar with my channel and you watch a lot of my videos, you may know that I am the proud owner of a Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. This is one of my favorite beauty products of all time, favorite purchases. It has great little attachments that are magnetic, but this is really just going to dry your hair. You can give it a nice, smooth, sleek style, but the Air App is totally different. This is not meant to replace your supersonic, instead it's meant to sort of complement or supplement it because you can get even more style, curl, volume, body. So with the Dyson Airwrap, they used something called the Coanda effect, which basically says that air flowing against a surface will follow that surface even if it's round, like a barrel. So airflow is actually directed around the barrel. It's going to instantly wrap the hair around by itself, and then it's going to smooth the hair, keep it in place, while simultaneously drying the hair and then setting the style. So traditional hot tools rely on extreme heat to change the bonds of the hair and set the style, whereas the Dyson Airwrap uses the airflow so it's less damaging on your hair. By styling the hair while it's still slightly wet, since this is a wet to dry styling tool, you're setting the bonds of the hair in place without the damage of the extreme heat so that the hair is going to hold the shape as if you let your hair air dry. The filter is at the bottom just like the supersonic hair dryer. This one is magnetic so it twists on and off very easily. It also comes with a brush to clean this. The swivel at the bottom makes it incredibly easy. You don't have to worry about the cord getting in your way. This is the on off switch three different air speeds, and three different temperature settings. You can keep it at a cool temperature, or there are two heat settings. This is also a cool shot if you want temporary cold air. Now let's talk about the Dyson Airwrap styling attachments. The pre-styling dryer is what you're going to use first. This prepares hair for styling. It allows you to give a nice rough dry. I would probably, in the future, use my Dyson Supersonic hair dryer just to make the process a little bit faster. You want your hair to be somewhere between 75 and 80% dry, especially dry the roots before you go in with any of the styling attachments. It comes with a firm smoothing brush, which gives you a straighter style with less frizz, a soft smoothing brush, which gives you a nice smooth straight style, a round volumizing brush for volumizing and shaping, and then there are two different sizes of barrels. You'll see that you get two barrels of each size, one for the left side, one for the right side. So when you look in the mirror, you just follow the direction that the arrow is pointing. You want to style hair away from the face. There's a 30 millimeter air wrap barrel, which gives you voluminous curls or waves, and a 40 millimeter air wrap barrel, which gives you loose curls or waves. Once you've gone through with the pre-styling dryer, done a nice rough dry, your hair is about 80% of the way dry, I like to section off my hair. So I'm going to separate the top half from the bottom half. In small sections, depending on the texture of your hair, you're going to take a little piece. To make it easier so you're not constantly switching between barrels, I like to do one side first and then the other side. So you start with the left side and then do the right, or vice versa, do the right side and then do the left.
So this is the finished result. I went ahead and brushed out the curls because I never wear my hair with tight curls. I sort of like a little volume, a little curl at the end, and it has this gorgeous volume, this beautiful wave throughout, which I personally love. So I'm really happy with the results. I definitely want to play with it a few more times. But once you kind of get the hang of it and sort of get the muscle memory down, it becomes a lot quicker, a lot easier to just kind of go through and curl all of the pieces. And you're left with either tighter curls that you can spray with hairspray or setting spray and then just sort of like tussle with your fingers. Or you can brush it out and have this voluminous, <laughs> big kind of wavy beach curl look which is really kind of cool so you can get a lot of different looks different styles with just one device so I really like it I know the price point is very high I think if you're somebody who appreciates gadgets you like the technology you don't want as excessive damage to your hair through heat this is going to be a great product for you Put it on your Christmas wish list, your holiday wish list, as soon as possible because, as I mentioned earlier, it's pretty much sold out. If you go into it, you know what you're going to get, what you're not going to get with this tool, you'll be very happy. You have to play around with it. And of course, I live in hot, humid Miami. Are my curls going to hold up the same as somebody who lives up north or out west where it's a lot drier? Probably not. I have really long hair. So again, my curls are going to fall a lot faster. So I, you have to be realistic. I'm realistic with what my hair can do. It's never going to hold a super tight curl, so I never intend to style it that way. I don't want to set myself up for that disappointment. Um, so in terms of the curl, I don't think it, for me, it's going to give me a very tight curl look. For that, I would need to use a hot tool, but because I'm so concerned with damage and breakage, I just never style my hair that way anyways. So for me, the volume and the wave and, I don't know, this like, <laughs> I feel like I have this very big, bouncy, fun hair. I really like it. And that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. I know everybody's hair is different. Everybody's hair handles styling differently. But I will do my best to answer any of your questions based on my experience and my research. I'm also going to try to link the product as soon as it's available online. But I'll include some of the videos that really do a great job explaining the technology from the Dyson website as well as my trusty, lovely Supersonic because that is hands down one of my favorite beauty purchases ever. It's just really great. I think what it does, again, the technology is incredible. So I highly recommend the Supersonic. The Airwrap is something that you're just gonna have to decide for yourself if it's worth it because it is a styling tool. So it's an add-on, but I'm really happy with it. I am just going to go out today and enjoy this volume and hopefully in the Miami humidity this doesn't become like a whole situation. I feel like the moment I walk outside this is going to expand by at least five times. So we shall see. But I will see you in my next video. For more, don't forget to subscribe.